Robert Zimmerman is a Democratic National Committee man, and he joins us tonight. <laughs> Mr. Zimmerman, thanks for coming on. Good to be with so, you, Tucker. Before I ask you about Maxine Waters, the future of your party, let me ask you about news we have from Capitol Hill tonight. So, Glenn Simpson, who runs Fusion GPS, he's the former reporter who commissioned the dossier that undergirds a lot of this Russia investigation, spent seven hours talking to House investigators yesterday and conceded, apparently, we're reporting during that testimony, that the dossier was comprised of rumors that he never really checked out, he never traced them to their sources, he never traveled to Russia, they were just things that he heard and threw them in the dossier, which was then disseminated throughout the media and the Democratic Party, often the same thing and became the basis for the insanity of the last year. Does that bother you that rumors are the, are the core of this? Well, actually, Tucker, what bothers me is your partisan spin, because the There's reality is, according serious. to Washington Post fact checker, the only one who repeated any, who printed any information from the dossier before the election was Mother Jones. The other media, of course, and it's the media's job to check out these reports. So the reality here is, I mean, the right wing is trying to spin that oh, Russia was really? trying because to help I thought, Hillary Clinton. Wait, 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 wait a second. I no, thought on, that. Zachary. Look, wait, no, let me, me just, let, me, let, me correct, let me correct a factual error. Let me bring up and some facts. And I don't facts. mean in any way to contradict the Washington Post fine reporting, but didn't BuzzFeed run the entire thing? Not before the, entire the election. Dossier? Not according to the Washington Post well, I'm not fact saying checker. before or after the election. I'm not, and I'm not talking about the Washington Post so-called fact checkers. I'm just, as a factual matter, as a news reader, I believe I read the whole thing presented as news in BuzzFeed. And then in virtually every other publication in America. No matter so, how you to, want, Tucker, no matter how you want to spin, spin the facts, the reality is nothing was printed according to the Washington Post fact checker by the media before the election, except in Mother Jones. But here's the point. No, it's up to the not, media to do, not, excuse but, me, but, it's up to I'm the not media making that case. I'm not saying, hold on, I'm not saying Trump lost the popular vote because of the dossier. I'm saying that we have a Russia investigation ongoing for the last year. Right. And that the FBI took this dossier. They may have actually paid the source of the dossier. We don't know for sure. We're going to find out. But That's we a know that false that rumor to spread. We, Maybe no, you on. should know before you tell everybody so, that perhaps so it's a possibility. No, that's, that's actually been reported. I don't know if it's true or not. Well, and I'm trying to be as honest Breitbart as I can for your be. News. Here's the truth, Robert. Slow, slow down a little bit. I'm fine. We know for a fact that the dossier is one of the reasons there was a Justice Department investigation into Russia's meddling in the election in the first place. And so I'm asking you a factual question. So put aside your lunatic hat for a second and answer me straight. <laughs> Does it bother you that the guy who wrote the dossier didn't check out any of the so-called facts in there? We don't know, that we don't know were... what you're reporting is accurate. We do know that he Bob said Mueller... He on the Hill yesterday. Excuse me. We do know that Bob Mueller, who is a war hero, a Republican, and was appointed by the Deputy Attorney General to conduct this investigation, anything? is running a very thorough and fair investigation. And the Republican leadership in Congress is conducting an investigation based upon the facts. So I think before you start spinning well, uh, your rumors and I'm theories, not spinning. I think we should this let it be the rumor. professionals Actually, this to do is the evaluations. Oh, slow down. This is information derived from the investigation you just referred to. Listen carefully. This is coming off the Hill yesterday. Glenn Simpson, head of this company, sat for seven hours, and this is what he said. The investigation to which you just favorably referred produced this set of facts, and I'm for the fifth time trying to get your response to this set of facts. And are you going to respond or not? I'm not going to respond to your theories and gossip. It's not a I'm theory. Going to, That's what I'm he said. I'm going to simply leave the investigation to the professionals, but this both the Republican is the, leadership in Congress uh, let me, and let me, the special counsel. I don't know if this is your native language. Let me speak slowly. This is the investigation. This is what we just learned, and I'm hitting you with new facts that come from congressional investigators, Republican and Democrat, and I want to know if you think it's okay that this stuff turned Tucker, out to be unverified crap. That's what they just found in the investigation you're lauding. Tucker, I'll try to use smaller words for you. The bottom line here is you're repeating news reports that are not substantiated, yeah, and you, as opposed to letting the investigators wow. make the reports and report and let Congress do their investigation. The, <clears throat> wow. Okay. We're, we're off in performance art now. Okay. Let me ask you a, a political <laughs> question. Maybe you'll do better with that. Maybe you'll, give you me, think, maybe you'll use may, some may, facts Maybe you time. will. I'm, I'm starting to have my doubts. Do you think that it is wise politics, apart from wise policy, is it good for the Democratic Party, which seems to be ascendant, did really well in those elections last week mm -hmm. in Virginia and New Jersey, to lead with impeachment? The last time a party tried this was, of course, the Republican Party in 99. They impeached the president in 98. And in that midterm elections, they got pounded for doing it. Do you think it's smart for Democrats to have as their publicist, Maxine Waters, running around talking about impeachment? Is that a wise thing? Are you well, happy about that? Let me that? just correct you on a fact, Tucker. The last time the Republican Party led with this was when Republican members of Congress advocated impeaching President Obama over his birth certificate. 
and many Republican members of Congress did that. You don't have the what Democratic Party about? leading which, with which, impeachment. Well, no, which Republican member said he ought to be impeached over well, his Congressman Blake Farenthal did. He said he ought to be point. impeached because yes, of his he birth certificate? Did. It's called okay, fact-checking, well, checking, Tucker. I'm glad I One out of 435? I don't even remember. Was there another one? You said do, there was more than one. Do I have to give you an exercise on how to use Google? You can easily check the facts on your own. Hopefully your viewers you're, will, too, and not accept this. your spin. I mean, that's just too but stupid. But the point Look, is, I'm, the my Maxine point, Waters okay. is not leading the Democratic Party in this issue. Really? Point, because frankly, articles of impeachment were filed today in the House. Are you aware of that? Are you paying attention? I'm well aware of it, but that does not represent the advocacy of the Democratic leadership. But what do you think of it? How's this? Here's my is question. That, what do you think of what it? What it does tell me is that the Republican investigations that are going on and the special counsel's investigations demonstrate that they're giving her good material to work with. Why don't you just the, answer a question straightforwardly? Why don't you, 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 you give me some facts don't, for don't, the look, Just answer the question. So you had Steve Cohen from Memphis just today, today, right. said and filed it officially the president ought to be impeached. I'm not right. saying that Pelosi told him to say that. She probably is against it. But there's a movement, and there are a bunch of guys doing that, Brad Sherman among them. What do you think of that? Is that smart politics? Don't give me a stupid hack answer. Just give me a real answer. Is that a good idea or not? I'm giving you facts, Tucker. You deal with it or not. The point simply is this. Because of the, of the fact that Donald Trump Jr. and Jared Kushner and General Flynn and so many others keep changing their stories because okay. of the indictments, there's real discussion here about what these investigations will lead to. Right now, the Democratic leadership's not advocating impeachment. And in fact, we have to let more facts come out. You but just had it filed today. Are you not going to say whether you think that's a good idea or not? I mean, you're making me nervous because I think that there's a good chance Democrats could take over the House in the next election. And if they're going to have people like you speaking for them and making their strategy, I'm actually really concerned. Why don't you just as give me an adult make, answer and respond to the news today? Facts, I'm not well, making it up. It just happened. I know that it happened, Tucker, but the reality is the Democratic Party is not moving towards impeachment. Members of Congress are advocating it. And frankly, the fact that the Trump administration keeps getting caught in one lie after another gives good material for them He's to talk about He's driven you guys it. crazy. He's driven you guys crazy. Wow. <laughs> you you make me nervous you've in this interview. you got to get some interview. facts together, No, Tucker. I'm serious. You make me nervous. Thank you, Robert. <laughs>